Hi YouTube, it's me Jana and I'm Moni and we're going to do our three month update and um, basically I'm going to tell you guys what's been going on with breastfeeding, what's been going on with cloth diapering and I guess whatever else you guys uh, have asked me about. Now I did get an inbox question about where do I buy my diapers from. I'm going to say right now before I forget and it gets to the end of the video. I buy my diapers off of eBay mostly or Amazon. Now I have bought from thankmama.com because sometimes she gives out a 10% discount and it's awesome when you buy from her but um from that shop but um mostly it's ebay and amazon and i have bought from nikki nikki's di diapers com because they have a sale right now on grovia planes because it's being discontinued so and the grovia is only like 15.95 so i did take advantage of that but i'll get into that when i talk about cloth diapering all right let's talk about imani <laughs> It's like, she's just chilling, just looking up at something. Okay, it's distracting to see her doing that, okay. So, what's been going on with Amani? Um, she, I think she reached her milestone yesterday. I don't know what you would call it, but she, she basically was just a freaking chatterbox yesterday. Um, so yeah, she... She has been a chatterbox lately um, with anybody and everybody. Um, she chats a lot in the morning and then she kind of tones down later. But in the morning, oh yeah, when she's up, she chats all day and all night. <laughs> she was chatting up with my mom on the phone um, the other day. And that's why I think she just kind of hit that milestone where like now she's starting to talk a whole lot more and be more active. She's not sleeping as much during the day either. So yeah, she's, she's definitely hit out of, she's gotten out of the baby or infant stage where she slept a lot and getting more into um I guess talking and being aware and being active which is fine I don't mind so yeah uh what else um she's doing really well in breastfeeding um she's taking to me really good the only issue that I have is that she does not want to drink from a bottle or any kind of nipple I tried almost every nipple or bottle you can think of and it just she will not she refuses she fights me on it um i really don't know what else to do about it so i don't know if you guys have any you know information about it or any clues as to what i can do or insight please let me know and i will try them because i'm like at my wits end i need her at least try to attempt to take a bottle so that i can go and do things um so that i can go and do things um and she can stay you know home with her dad or with someone else while i do them so what else yeah, and that's breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is going really good. That's the only issue. Um, cloth diapering, oh my gosh. Okay, I definitely need to do a cloth diaper update. I have bought a few, I want to say over a few diapers since the last time we talked. Although there are some diapers that are um, ones that I've made that I use, but I definitely don't reach for them first anymore like I used to, which is so amazing because I remember saying so many times, you know, my diapers are the best and I love my diapers and da-da-da-da. Yep, my diapers are good and, you know, they were definitely worth buy, worth making but I have to admit they're not always the first that I reach for it, especially when I need a nighttime solution for a heavy wetter because she's gotten to be a very very heavy wetter and um, I needed a solution basically <laughs> other than prefolds or um, the Econobum brand so yeah uh, I wanted to try diapers before I actually started buying two and three of them so I bought each diaper I bought I bought it in one single diaper and if I liked it I would just go back and buy more so, let's start with my favorite out of all the diapers that I have that I bought new um, or that I bought are is my Bum Genius Elemental diaper. Love this diaper. No complaints. I thought it was so cool. I saw a lot of reviews saying that the poo gets caught in between these two um, inserts, but I haven't had that problem yet, so I'm not sure what they're talking about. Um, also, I noticed that the diaper doesn't have a casing on the, um, on the leg gussets or leg things but even still it's still a good diaper so I don't see how that affects the diaper a lot of people complained about it I'm not complaining about it it's fine without it um I love this diaper only thing is that it takes forever to dry it literally takes me about two and a half days to dry that diaper so if you guys don't mind waiting a long time for your diapers to dry then it's still a good diaper it works great I have no problem with leaks I have no problem with blowouts. She had a blowout in it. As soon as I put it on her butt, it was awesome. It was just the best poo that she could ever have. But 
um, the diaper took a licking and um, it had stains on it. I put it out in the sun. As soon as I saw a little bit of sun around, so I put it out there and the stains came right out. Not even more than maybe, I don't think it was out there more than four or five hours and the stains were, sh were right out. Um, also, I bought a Rumparoo diaper or rum Rumparoo's. Yeah, okay, so I bought a Rumparoo's diaper. And I do like this diaper. It's a good diaper. It holds in leaks. It, I mean, it doesn't leak. It holds in um, like poo, pee, and everything else. Only thing is that because of the way that it's made with these things here and how this it kind of folds up and curls in, and this is normally on her belly when I go to change her out of it, and I absolutely hate it. Now maybe something that I'm doing. I tried this diaper four or five times before I actually decided that that was something that I hated about it. But I don't know. I just don't like that. If I could get this with snaps, I think it would be a lot better. So I just don't recommend that you buy it with the Velcro, even though the Velcro holds up awesome. I don't have any fringing or fraying on the Velcro at all whatsoever. And I've used it a while. Um, it's still a good diaper. Just if you can avoid the uh, um, Velcro, then avoid it. Um, but yeah. So then I have my thirsties. I actually should have did this one before the Rumperoo. Because it goes my Bum Genius Elemental, my thirsties, and then um, my Grovia, actually. So anyway, it's out of order. But um, yeah, so this is my thirsties all in one um, diaper. And I, I love the diaper. I love the Velcro and everything. I bought the Velcro because I've been buying a couple of, I've been buying Velcro because I wanted to make it easier for her dad to change her. And sometimes he gets like really confused or he thinks that he has to do the snaps a certain way when um, he changes her with the snaps. So I've been trying to be a little nicer and buy Velcro. Um, I love this diaper because it has the flap on both sides, um, front and back, where I can actually stuff it and make it a little thicker or more absorbent if I want to. So I love that about this diaper. This by far has saved me like, I don't know, I, it's just, it's a lot easier and when he changes her, this is the one that he reaches for. I'll put it like that. It saved me a lot of time having to explain to him how to put a diaper on. Because I'm like, is the thirsties in there? Is the one with the owls in there? The owl print? He's like, yeah, I'm like, put it on, put that one on. That's the only one you're probably going to understand. So, um, yeah, it saves me a lot of time. And no leaks at all. I kind of said all the diapers, I haven't had any leaks at all. Um, so far as brand name, they're really good on leaks. That's the ones that I've been using. Um, then I have a Grovia that I bought. My Grovia is by far a really good diaper. Um, the only thing that I've noticed on almost every Grovia, which made me hesitant to buy any of them from the very beginning, but I went on and broke down and, and bought one once I noticed that it was on sale at Nikki'sDiapers.com for $15.95. Awesome. <laughs> what made me buy it um, was because it was on sale. So I bought it and I'm glad I did because it's still a good diaper. Only reason why I've been hesitant is because I've noticed on the on the legs of almost each and every Grovia that has been used for more than like a few, maybe five or six months, um, the legs start to fringe and um, they start to deteriorate almost. And you can see the inside gussets and all, inside uh, elastic and everything. So that's why I haven't bought any Grovias because almost every Grovia that I saw that was over three or four months old, you can see where it's starting to just deteriorate. Then I also bought, so Grovia is good, I love Grovia. also bought a Itty Bitty Two Toe, which I have to say, out of all of my diapers, my Itty Bitty Two Toe is by far my favorite. Um, I'm going to show you guys the video of her in her Itty Bitty Two Toe real quick so you guys can see um, what I bought and how it fits on her. <laughs> this is Armani in her Two Toe. Love this diaper. Hi, baby girl. Hi. Hey, Amini. Hey, girl. The diaper fits awesome. I love the diaper. It's such a trim fit, and they're so soft. They're so comfortable. I mean, I want to just crawl up in the diaper and just sit there. <laughs> it's such a good diaper. Um, yeah, it's a good diaper, and I recommend anyone, if you can start a diaper stash, definitely buy Itty Bitty Two Toe. If you're starting a diaper stash, and you don't want to spend the money on an expensive diaper. I understand it's expensive, but um, if you can, just buy at least one because it'll change your whole attitude about it. Um, I loved it so much, I ordered two more. So I have two more coming in the same color um, from, uh, what's the name of the website? I went on diaperpen.com and saw that it was on sale for like $18. So, 
yeah I mean that's that's pretty much it for her her cloth diapering update I'm going to go ahead and cut that short <laughs> and um, as far as everything else um, everything is going great Amani is I mean she's really developing just as great and as I could possibly want her to um, she's doing an awesome job um, we did decide to go ahead and make her baby food from scratch so da -da -da, I went out and got me a uh, <laughs> <laughs> I went out and got me a baby bullet, a magic baby bullet. I had been looking for one for a long time. And my friend um, Karen, who also makes YouTube videos, she told me that she also decided to do um, make her daughter's baby food, Sophia, who is so adorable. If you guys have not checked out her channel, please go check her out. She is such a beautiful baby. Um, yeah, she's making her food and she was like I couldn't find one I honestly couldn't find one either I had been looking and I found one on eBay and it was 60 bucks or $65 and I was like I don't want to order it and have to wait for it I want to buy it and I want to have it when I buy it I just was kind of putting off ordering it for no particular reason just didn't want to so then we just I happened to go to Walmart me and um, Darnell and of course what do I see um, he has it in the basket and I'm like where did you find it and the box kind of looks like it was like tossed off to the side because it was kind of dirty and dingy and just you know messed up and I was like well I mean what what happened and he was like I found it I went over there and I just happened to look and I found it and I was like he was like it's only one left and I was like oh my god thank you Jesus <laughs> I'm getting it right now he was like I was like how much is it he was like $60 I was like oh yeah we're gonna get it just put it in the basket we're gonna get it so <laughs> Yeah, I was so happy to find it because um, I was looking for it. And it's really hard to find them in stock almost anywhere because they sell like hotcakes. So, um, yeah, we're going to be making her baby food. I'm so excited for next month, for four months to get here because I cannot wait to make her baby food. Really? Are you? <laughs> you getting sleepy? Okay. So, yeah, I can't wait to make her baby food. Um, I even uh, took it out the box and kind of read the instructions and everything. It's weird because as a mom, you don't expect yourself to get all excited about um, baby bullets, making food, baby food. But I was actually pretty excited about it. I didn't think I was going to get this excited and amped up about cloth diapering either because how can you get excited about changing poo and pee? But um, I guess cloth diapering makes it ex makes it exciting. Um, so anyway, that kind of surprised me. I was kind of in the kitchen looking through this stuff like... I'm getting to be really, really boring, and I've got to do something about it. But, yeah, so, I don't know. I guess I'm boring. But anyway, so I'm going to end this video. This will be our three-month update. Imani is officially 17 pounds. We went to the WIC office, so I know. Yeah, she's 17 pounds, and um, she's just getting bigger and better every single freaking day. Say bye-bye. Yeah. yeah. Hi YouTube, it's me Jana and I'm Money and we're going to do our three month update. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a three month update now. Of the, I said update, date. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Hi YouTube, it's me Jana. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go back. Okay. So... Okay. Yeah, I'm so proud of her. Oh, what happened? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do me a favor. Move out the way. Say ah uh ah. -uh. No 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 no. Say bye bye. Look, look at the camera, Randall. Say bye bye. You don't want to say bye-bye? Okay, go to your room. You want to say bye-bye?